Mezu, we're uh, here next to the Ross Fountain at Princess Street Gardens. Uh, first of all, welcome to Edinburgh. What were maybe your, your first impressions of the city so far? Uh, it's the first time for me to come for, yeah, for this contract. Everything has changed for me. Uh, it's like, uh, it's kind of the big city. Uh, it's not like in Fiji. Uh, I think it's uh, different for me. Uh, it's like a uh, different culture, like different uh, language. Like, uh, you know, in Fiji, just speaking only speaking Fijian. I just come over here just speaking English. So uh, I learned a lot, uh, everything. I just love the city and uh, I love to stay in Scotland, in Edinburgh. How much did, uh, did Bill, uh, Bill Mata, tell you about the, the club in the city before you came here? We were just talking like two years ago when I was watching videos. Mata was uh, talking to me and just said, um, this club is going to be good for you. Uh, you're going to be taking your career. and going to be like, it's a good uh, club. You can just come and switch over in the sevens to come and play in uh, Edinburgh. And I said, uh, yeah, it's okay for me. It's going to come over. You obviously said there that you played with Bill as well. Um, did you play a bit of rugby with him back home? Uh, yeah, I like Bill was uh, playing in uh, Nanronga for the last two years. Uh, he was playing for the Nanronga team. I was playing with Bill for Nanronga and I'm really like him. Uh, it's a tough guy. It's a working hard man. I was like to be like the same as him. Can you maybe talk about life back in Fiji a little bit? Am I right in saying you were in the police force before you, before you got into rugby? I was working in a police force. Uh, after the, I was training the sevens team and I didn't select for the two legs and I was well, going back to work and I want to come over for joining for the Edinburgh club. Obviously you, you've moved into to rugby now, a great career in the, the sevens circuit. At what point did you realise you wanted to be a rugby player? At what point did you realise I can be a professional rugby player? I was schooling so I'll be only form five. Uh, I didn't reach what I want, I didn't reach my goal like want to be a form seven so I just came back at home. And I was talking to my parents, I want to become uh, rugby players. So I keep on fighting hard, uh, keep on praying, keep on training hard. So that's why I want to become a good rugby player. How have you found training here so far? Um, what's Nick Lumley been, been like in terms of the conditioning? I notice you're on the walk bike every day. Is, is he driving you pretty hard? Yeah, it's like uh, all the Fijian players must be on the white bike on every day. Like whole of this year, if you sign his contract, like only two years or three years, you be, must be staying on the walk bike. Why, why is that? Uh, maybe it's, it's a big guy. Uh, yeah, I think he's a big guy. That's why he's just put us in the walk bike. Obviously, you're now moving into to 15s rugby. How, how tough is that going to be for you, making that transition from, from sevens into 15s? I know it's different. Um, you know, it's different of uh, types of training. Uh, fitness. Uh, so uh, I was like, uh, when I come over in 15, so it's uh, like a gym session. We do some heavy weights and everything. Um, that's why quite a lot. I think it's uh, different for seven ticket and 15. 